Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you non farm non farm payrolls Friday. She usually is pretty quiet. Well, historically the mornings of non farms have been pretty quiet, but since non farms has been meaningless <clears throat> over the last uh, sort of three years. Um the mornings have returned to normalcy, shall we say. So we expect more of normal flows uh, this morning. Are we going to reach uh, lower in Euro and Cable? It kind of looks like it. Yeah, we took a little bit of a digger down there to 35. We've broken this trend line here. The market's caught short. It's stale. There's a stale position stale smell um, to this market right now cable uh, just because it's more erratic <clears throat> could swing through 40 euro also um, with euro which is much less erratic um, 122 40 we're watching there should be some risks risk below both of those levels bond yields are ripping still TYX here um, got up to 187 now we're 185 this is the ZB contract uh, short fixed income still away this uh, has further to go equities still bid don't really understand that staying away from that space uh, but we like this dollar long dollar yen and dollar Swiss because these are the most risk sensitive most uh, yield sensitive currencies right dollar Swiss the interest rates here in Switzerland are, are minus 80 basis points so any any move more positive on the US side um, is sort of magnified because Swiss rates are really really negative um, you could say the same kind of say the same in euro we got negative rates in euro as well but you got negative rates in switzerland plus you got a central bank who wants to weaken their currency so swiss is usually the better horse um when we're having this kind of interest rate move so it's a slower more lower vol sort of tortoise in the hair kind of uh, fable here why am I not short euros and why am I long dollar Swiss? It's kind of the same trade, but dollar Swiss is also more easily managed. Think about the euro moves recently, uh, back up to 123.40. Dollar Swiss didn't do much. Euro, euro went up 80 ticks. Dollar Swiss went down 30 because the euro Swiss move sort of lessens the punch. So it's easier to stay in a long-term position if you have the dollar Swiss on. Dollar yen's just been clean um, since 102.88. Didn't really be, couldn't really get back below 88. Now we're running into some very interesting levels. We talked about it yesterday, saying dollar yen often does a big runner here. This is, uh, I would say, quite important. Um, 104 the figure so we've had these highs here in the 90s 91 89 um, that's 81 that can't be right no 89 90 yesterday we had 94 <clears throat> today we have the figure um, I think once you get prices through the figure you can continue to comfortably start accumulating on the day um, we're not going to treat it as a um, old-fashioned break trade, but we will be in sort of accumulation stage kind of deal where you you might pay O ones for for some, but then also be sitting there with a basket below to catch some bids in dollar yen um, with your eye on the bond market. Euro yen. Was a bit dick in the box yesterday. Up through 23, was didn't really do 
too much, you know, we were 29 paid, 90 given, 40 paid, 22 given, but we are edging higher. This is just dollar yen pushing this. There's no real euro yen flows. There's no real sterling yen flows going on right now. It's just dollar yen. So um, don't get confused. It's not a cross. Not a time to be playing in the crosses. This is a dollar. Time to be playing in the dollars. Speaking of dollars, dollars are wow. Motherfucker. 90 handles um, from that 60 break. Dollars are also tends to do a runner on the upside. If you think about how 2020 started. Uh, let's just say we started what at 14 and we kind of went straight to 18. I mean, look at this chart. Um, this can go a lot farther, a lot faster uh, than any of you can probably imagine. If you're not comfortable buying through highs, um, that's fine. I would just suggest just don't be short dollars are. Um, most of you aren't comfortable trading that way. Dollar Max took a big clean out through 60, and then yesterday, big green bar. This gets sort of interesting uh, through 2010. We got Canadian employment today as well, which also can sort of lend uh, some structure to the Max market. Crude is above 51 bucks. Um, I'm not sure what to do with Dollar Max. Not really sure. Aussie bid still. First day really where we had a chance to close lower. We did not. We're back at 80. Aussie makes no sense to me here. Euro Aussie. This also makes no sense to me. I guess because Australia is handling COVID really well. I don't know. I mean, maybe because they're binge drinking better than anyone else in the world. Um could be the good Foster's beer commercials. Why is Aussie so big? I don't know. I don't know. Good coffee in Melbourne. Um, I'm told reliably by a bunch of Aussies who run in my circles here in Switzerland. Aussie yen, look at that. I guess this is just basically equities. Aussie space I don't understand. I'm looking forward to when this turns. Um, the higher it goes, the harder it'll fall. Uh, and as we all know, there's the funnest and best way to make money in, in FX is risk off. Risk on is tougher. Um, so we're waiting for that elevator to go down. No rush. We just wait for it. The chart will tell us uh, when it's happening. Dollar CAD, pretty similar. This bar here looks a little bit tricky, right? Looks like she wanted to turn. Um, I'm going to have entries today above this 127.33. Um, more of an intuitive uh, trade. I'm not really sure why uh, Dollar CAD would turn. Things are looking pretty rosy. Crude's above 51 bucks. Um, but it's more of an intuitive trade. Gold, that's a bearish engulf. This confirms through 1900. I'm looking at GCG right now, 07, 0790, 08, 1908. This is the gold futures market, not cash. Uh, if interest rates keep going higher, gold is fucked. We put in basically an interesting double top up here. So you kind of have two very interesting points to make money in gold up through 1963 uh, and down below 19, 1900. The low, the actual low is 1902.60 here on this bar. But as you can see, when you do these bars like this bar here, often it cascades. We all remember trying to get long down here at 1805. Um, a bit of a botch for us. 
I had the right idea, but there's no reason this can't, like, screw people down below 1860. I don't think gold's going to collapse. Although if interest rates do something wacky, it's going to be hard for gold to remain bid. And then let's take a look at S&Ps. No idea, except for that this is just sort of bubbly. Um, yields higher should not be good for this market. It's just ignoring all bad news. Democrats are in. They're going to raise taxes. They're going to regulate tech. You can see it. There's, you know, the left is so fucking pissed uh, at Facebook. They're so pissed at Twitter. They're so pissed at all of these platforms that are fanning the flames of, of you know, craziness, QAnon nutbaggers and fucking uh, Antifa nutbaggers and Proud Boy nutbaggers. They're all fucking a bunch of lunatics. I mean, let's uh, thank God they don't give an IQ test uh, to general populations. Uh, U.S. I don't think would fare too well. Um, on the aggregate. But back to what I think about how the Democrats are going to raise taxes and regulate. This is just what they do. Um, I don't really care. I think taxes should go higher, and I think they probably should regulate more. That's not really the point. The point is that's typically not good for business and free cash flow. And that's what we care about so I don't really understand why stocks are higher except for the fact that this was kind of a consensus trade dollar lower stocks lower if the Democrats sweep and now everyone's um, taking it up the ass basically a little bit of Sodom and Gomorrah here so I don't know once the shorts give up uh, we will start pounding uh, the downside but of course, we don't need to be first, right? We do not need to be first. What we're looking for is a bar like this, January 4 bar, and then confirmation, which is through the lows. It's the same trade. It's the same setup as gold. You have a bar like this. No confirmation yet. We're just going sideways. Bang, 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 bang. This could go anywhere. Confirmation of this red bar is through the lows. So... We're looking for that bar and then confirmation. Don't try and be first. It can be very costly, fading a bubble. So just chill. Crude is the same way to express this. Um, one that we're not particularly good at, but we like to kind of watch it and it is kind of fun. Um, crude can, I don't know, go to 55, 60 bucks. Of course it can. Um, but. Uh, if you prefer to express risk off in crude, this is also getting fairly stretched, right? If you think that it came from minus 40, minus 40 bucks, it's up 90 bucks from this low here. Ah, God bless crude. Anyway, I'm babbling a lot today. It's non-farms. Um, people are expecting a bad one, so be careful on a good one today. Um, ADP was negative, but of course, as most of you know, ADP is just a completely useless indicator. So um, keep an eye on the bond markets. They're driving the bus right now. And good luck to you out there, people. Make some dough today, I dare you. Ciao.